Hello, my name is Bob Swope. I'm the Vice President of Sales for AlarmLock. We've recently introduced two new products that we're going to discuss today and demonstrate for you. The first product is our wireless remote release buttons. These are designed for both the Trilogy standalone access control product line and then our newest product line, the Networks wireless locking solution. They come in two formats. This is the remote release button here that's designed to go on a receptionist desk. The other product we have is the four button remote release. This allows you to basically take this unit here and key in four individual doors so that you're able to remotely and wirelessly release both doors. These products are designed with the networks. You just simply do a very simple keypad enrollment. With the Trilogy Lock, the standalone 2700 or T3s or PDL 3000s will need to add a receiver to it. And the receiver basically acts as the radio. It fits nicely and tucks inside the battery compartment. So what we're able to do is use the same button with the receiver. Now we're able to take any existing 2700 T3 PDL3000 and utilize the Universal Trilogy remote release. The second product that AlarmLock has introduced is a Networks Retrofit Upgrade Kit. And what the Networks Upgrade Kit allows us to do is take a standard DL2700 cylindrical lock, PDL3000 cylindrical lock, and or the mortise lock and basically take that opening and upgrade it from a standalone access control opening to a Networks wireless opening. It's a very simple process and the reason is, is that since 1994 when the Trilogy was first introduced, what we've used amongst all product lines is a cylindrical lock body. And the cylindrical lock body really hasn't changed. So across all cylindrical locks, the lock body is able to be reused along with the latching mechanism. In a mortise lock, it's the same thing. The lock body, the mortise case, is able to be reused. So all we really have to do is purchase an upgrade kit that consists of three components. And those components basically are the inside housing that has the radio built into it. The other product is the outside housing that basically has the electronics on it. When we take and remount these products back onto the cylindrical lock body or these products back onto the mortise lock body, what we've effectively done is upgraded that opening from a standalone access control solution to a wireless locking solution. The reason that we may want to do that is that the system has grown from a few locks to maybe a few hundred locks or our application has grown where we have one building, now we've gone to two or three buildings or remote sites. So what the wireless locking solution does is it allows us from one central location on one PC utilizing your existing network and our transmitter called the gateway allows us to do programming remotely and wirelessly. So let me show you how we uh, basically take an existing opening and turn it into a network's opening. In order for us to change an existing Trilogy standalone solution into a network's wireless solution is we need two tools. We need a simple screwdriver that allows us to remove the screws so that we can take the unit off the door. And then we need a tool such as this so that we can remove the levers. And in this case, I've already removed the levers. So all we have to do now is remove the screws, take the inside housing off. We can set this down. We can come across here and what we have the ability to do is remove the outside housing. What we're, what we're left in place here is the lock body. And as I mentioned previously, this is the part that we're going to reuse that's on the door, that's in good working condition, and we're simply going to replace it with a new Networks outside housing and a new Networks inside housing, which contains the radio. And all we're simply going to do is just reinstall the products. This is going to fit onto the outside portion of the door right here. This is going to fit onto the inside portion of the door. And what it allows us to do is basically take that existing door and turn it into a new Networks locking solution. I have one already installed over here, so let's show you what that looks like when it's completed. And what this allows us to do basically is to take that opening that had a 2700 on it or a PDL 3000, and simply because we replaced the two components, we now have these components here on the door itself, and that allows us to turn this into a wireless locking solution. If you'd like more information on these products, please go to our website, alarmlock.com. Click on the contact page for your local AlarmLock representative or regional sales manager. If you'd like to purchase products, please go to your favorite AlarmLock distributor 
and place your orders. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.